What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Mike Dyack. I am a master plumber and HVAC contractor in the states of Florida, South Carolina, and New York. Today, we are driving to our first service call in Floral Park. We have a new residential client that has a lock and var boiler that's leaking water all over their basement floor, quote unquote. Let's go see what's going on because I highly doubt that a lock and var is leaking water. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have this lock and var night modulating and condensing natural gas fired boiler. We got a lot of water on the floor. And I removed the front cover, checked out the heat exchanger, it's fire tube heat exchanger and all the connected components. And it looks like the leak is originating from the condensate trap. Because it looks clean as a whistle at the bottom of the heat exchanger. Once you look at the trap, it's been causing some damage for quite some time. Even the uh, sheetrock here has got some mold in it. follow the PVC piping out of the left bottom left front corner of the night it comes around pitches satisfactory and it goes to this neutralizer which looks like it's full looks like the, the minerals in there have never been changed it's full of water definitely well they actually want a little nuts here going into the floor drain. So I got my shelf back. And we're gonna see if we can suck this out. And I gotta change the media in there, but I don't think this thing's gonna come apart. Let's see. We'll put the screws back in so I don't lose them. Solid block. All right, let's vacuum. 
vacuum out the condensate trap. All right, I unscrewed it. Oh boy. I'll clean that off in the sink. All right, so in my truck, I replaced the, the neutralizer media. I buy it in bulk. It's about a 30 or 40 pound box of those minerals with the little fairy dust, right? So those little specks of white. Um, then I used some spray nine and cleaned all that. It looked like greasy black residue that was on there. I cleaned it the best I could. I also cleaned off the ball. I don't know what's up with that blue residue, but it's definitely not coming from the shop rag. I'm gonna reassemble this. You can just fire it up, so. Put this back together and hopefully hope for the best. All right, I have my neutralizer reassembled. We're gonna get a test for leaks before I tighten everything up. I got some water and I'm gonna take off that white cap there. <sighs> Actually, I'm not even gonna be able to fit it in there. So let's undo the condensate trap. pour some water down there and fill up the neutralizer and make sure it drips out of the discharge into the floor drain. All right, here we go. What the hell? That should be going down, but it's not. Hmm. All right, take two. It wasn't at the right level elevation. So now I am carefully, slowly pouring water into the top of the condensate trap. I'm gonna repeat that until this fills with water, which it looks like it's starting to, until it drips out of there. All right, and there it is, dripping out of that three quarter inch 45. Excellent. All right, so I logged into the configuration menu um, on the front of the Lock and Bar Night. This is the 199, by the way, in case I had mentioned it. Uh, this services those two Squire stainless steel indirect water heaters and checking for condensate. We are, we are condensing. It's beautiful. Very, very nice. Nice steady drip. And I'm going to lower back down the set point temperature. Let's go back. Let's go to, we have to log back in. Let's log back in. Let's do temperature settings. Let's go back. Let's lower that back to where it was, which was 140 degrees. Save, exit, and home. Perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this video, found it a little bit educational. Hope you learned something new today. If you live in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area and you're tired of being bamboozled by your plumbing and HVAC contractor, I'd love to help you. 516-348-6300 is my office number. You can also save time, book online at pipedoc.net. We service Long Island, the New York City metropolitan area. I'd love to help you. We're a lock and bar warranty service provider. I've been to Lock and Bar Training, and I've even been to the factory, and it's a great, great, great company with a great team that manufactures these machines in the, in the plant. And what's really incredible is that every day they make these little guys to calibrate the machine. Let me see if I could show you the detail of this. I don't know if it comes up in the camera, but you could see that 
there is a lot of detail in that bicycle that's made. And every day, the cutting machines that make their boilers are calibrated, and this is what they produce, miniature bicycles. That's how tiny that is, guys. See that? 